Test, test, test. Coastal Christian taking on Concord Academy. Test, test, one, two.
Sumner. Number three, Owen Desmond. It is a sun-splashed late October afternoon. And on this Halloween weekend, only one of these two teams will be outfitted as state champions after 90 minutes, or perhaps maybe a few more today here at Coastal Christian. It's the NCISAA 3A State Soccer Championship going down between Coastal Christian Centurions and the Concord Academy Eagles. Definitely a party atmosphere today at Coastal Christian. The volleyball team took them a state championship just a couple hours ago, and they rolled it right on into this soccer game as well. Tailgate outside, student section is full, they're energetic, and they are ready to hopefully see their team lift its second state title in three seasons. Coastal Christian has been a powerhouse recently. They've made the final in four out of the past six seasons. But their opponents, Concord Academy, the number seven seed in the bracket to Coastal Christian's number three, will prove a worthy opponent. Concord Academy have scored a whopping 127 goals in their 23 games this season, an average just north of five and a half per game. However, they are also conceding over two goals per game. So there could be some spots for Coastal Christian to take advantage of. In any case, it should be a great atmosphere, a competitive match, and an intriguing 90 minutes to decide the 3A state champions this afternoon. My name is Parker Johnson. I'll be here with you for the call. Thanks for checking us out on YouTube. You can also check out the description box below this video and see the digital program and also state championship merchandise. Sixty-five and sunny, you can probably hear the breeze tickling my microphone. So it is a bit windy. Um, at the moment, the wind is going sort of across the field, not in great advantage of either team. But if it is an advantage of one, it's going the way of Coastal and we'll be propelling them forward in the first half. Coastal Christian in the red tops, white shorts, red socks. Concord Academy in the traveling whites, blue numbers, blue shorts, and the gold trim. Carter Grace, one of the captains for Coastal Christian, will take the kickoff. And it is sent long by Arturo Marine. Into the corner goes Josiah Davis. He is the leading goal scorer for Coastal Christian. And he made some inroads within the first 15 seconds, getting down and winning them a corner kick. Davis scored the game winning goal against Cape Fear Academy in the semifinal match. I'll have more on Cape Fear a little later, but we do have this corner upcoming first. It's going to be an in-swinger towards the back post, floating in the air. The header from Lecce pounced on 
Still free in the box. Lecce look to line up a kick, but it could be a counterattacking opportunity for Concord. Chasing it down is Martinez. Jeremy Martinez. Tackled by Andrew Snurkowski, the solid center back. He's got that brace on his left knee for identification. He and William Borges are the typical center backs for Coastal Christian. They'll be playing in a back three this afternoon with number 25, Wertheimer, alongside them. So a little bit of a different look from Coastal Christian today, switching things up for the final, maybe to try to quell this seemingly unstoppable Concord attack. Shouts for a handball, but Coastal Christian able to keep it. They had the advantage. Grace can't make it through a array of limbs. Well defended by Concord. They break up the far side. It's out for a Coastal Christian throw. And Coastal Christian coming into this game, the number four seed in the 3A state tournament bracket. 13-9-1 on the season. They were only 4-3 in conference. However, two of those losses came to the aforementioned Cape Fear Academy. A very, very good team who was higher than them in the rankings throughout the season, but Coastal did end up getting the better of them in the state semifinal. And so they won't mind the blemishes on their record. They've made it to today, and this is what it's all about. Our first touch of the game for Valentino Lira. Dip inside, he's graceful on the ball. He can use both feet, the number 10, and widely regarded as one of the best players in the state. Swivels out of pressure here in a wonderfully curled outside of the right football, up the line, forward to Guzman. Guzman is the centerpiece of this Concord attack. Has a strike, and it may indeed be out for a throw in. It will be a goal kick. Save him the embarrassment, but a uh, very wayward shot from Guzman. Don't expect much of that, though. Guzman is the top assist man for Concord. Lira, who I just mentioned before, number 10, who's taking up a bit of a left midfield or left back position at the moment. He is the leading scorer. Both of them have a large chunk of goals on the season. Stats were not available for the whole season, but through eight games, Guzman was second. So keep an eye on number 14 up top. Coach Mike Scheffel of Coastal Christian told me that number 14 is a handful. And that might just be why they've switched to three center backs for today's game. Out for throwing on the far side. Fourth minute of play here from Coastal Christian. Nil-nil, 3A state championship final. Krasnowski with a chance to settle it. He's going to send it long up into the wind. Chasing it is Marine. He tracks it down in the corner. Some good 1v1 defending by Kevin Reyes, the captain of Concord Academy. He'll be playing along the right side of that back line. It's a very fluid formation from Concord. Just about the only things you can count on is that Reyes will be in and around the middle of that back line, as will Medina Ortiz, who's taking this free kick. And you can count on Guzman up top. And besides that, you might see anybody just about anywhere. Quique Gonzalez gets his first chance to settle things down, sends it out of play on the left touch line. He was looking to spring Lira into some space. Lecce takes the throw in. Sent up the line by Wertheimer. Lira wins it back. One, two, and a cheeky nutmeg through the middle. Step over and a little spice on top, but it's one back by a firecracker from Coastal Christian. That is Sammy Dominguez. Few tackles flying in through the middle, and eventually the foul will go the way of Concord. Just a taste of the flavor that Valentino Lira is going to bring to the game. A little trick he pulled off a moment ago. Reyes on the ball, pushes it forward. Carachure on the far side. Out on the left side, number 27 is Cameron Sumners. He will be a wing back in today's system. Very important role in that three back setup. Got to get up, got to get back. He did it that time, but it is out for a Concord corner there first of the game. Oh, 
It's taken towards the top of the box, a little short of the intended target, Yohari Cabello. Cabello went down, and it will be a kick from the ground, not a throw in here, so Cabello did well to win that one. He shakes it off and jogs back towards the area. Free kick sent into the box, headed away by Marine. Marine missed a couple weeks this season with a knee injury, the big number 14 in the middle for Coastal Christian. But he's fought his way back, and Mike Scheffel counts on him as one of the most important players in that holding midfield position. But as you can see here, he will press high up the field as well. Now, a good spell of possession from Concord. Lira dribbles right into the referee, who couldn't seem to get out of the way. As Lira does his best to take it quickly, but sprays it wide of the goal. It is a new rule you'll see implemented across all levels recently that if it does hit the referee and one team is clearly in possession, it is given right back to them rather than a drop kick, but Lira certainly didn't make the most of that one. To take the goal kick now is Brant Webster, the goalkeeper for Coastal Christian. He is a freshman in goal, and that is one area of concern for Coastal Christian. They've been defensively stout throughout the playoffs, and that's one area that Coach Mike Scheffel did say that his team has made a lot of progress this season. They had some shaky results back in August and September. They've been a lot more solid since then, and part of that has been the growth of Webster in goal. They lost their number one goalkeeper to a local club team, and he had to forego playing high school soccer. Meanwhile, their number two goalkeeper, junior number one, Zach Schaefer, from what I understand, is injured. So Webster, next man up, and, and he's done a fine job. Here's Coastal Christian now. Owen Desmond getting his first touch of the ball. He's the chief creator for Coastal Christian. Lays it off here. Dominguez just wide, and it's a big save from Branson Sotela in the green jersey. Able to force that one wide. Desmond was the creator. And Dominguez nearly on the end of that one. Dominguez, five goals, four assists this season for the junior, the diminutive number 13. He's got tricky feet, but he wasn't able to find the back of the net. Corner sent long, and a header is in. It was an open header, but it didn't have a lot of juice behind it. So Tella claims comfortably. So Tella sprays it into the wind. And Concord have a tough time bringing it down. Shouts for a handball. Play on, says the referee. Now here's Josiah Davis looking to beat his man down towards the end line. And it double ricocheted off of Davis. He's disappointed, but that will be a goal kick for Concord. Scheffel couldn't give enough praise to Davis, who he said worked his socks off. Not only in practice, but after practice. He stays late, he puts in the work, and he's had the goal tally to show for it this season. 18 goals, fourth in the region, and by far the leading goal scorer. He is the danger man, number 11 for Coastal Christian. Here's Lira, sprung free into space. Wertheimer goes to close him down. Lira passed easily, now Lira cuts it back, top of the box, dragged shot, and it's saved by Webster. Final touch came from Cavell. A Little bit of a dry pitch, perhaps a bobble as he was trying to put it in, but it was a good idea from Lira on the service with his left foot. Now Guzman, dip at the shoulder. One, two, and Guzman could be through here. One v one with Snurkowski who puts in a strong challenge. Snurkowski stands tall and it's recovered by Marine. Arturo Marine has his clearance blocked. Lira there again. Lira owning the left wing right now. Goes to ground dangerously. Did Marine and Lira starting to find his feet for Concord. Valentino Lira, they call him Tino. Three time all state selection, or at least he will be by the end of this season. Mike Shuffle regarded him as the best midfielder in the state 
in his eyes. And we've seen it early on display. Stallings lets it bounce and Medina Ortiz takes over. Long ball from him, searching for Guzman. Guzman didn't have a lot of options. He was challenged closely by Andrew Wertheimer who concedes the free kick. Guzman wants the in-swinger here with the right foot. He called off Lira, who still hangs around. It will be Guzman, a powerful attempt towards the back post. Not sure if it was a cross or a shot, but either way, Webster took care of business. And now Webster with a little extra distance thanks to the wind, headed well by Medina Ortiz. Easy to get those wrong as Cabello picks it up in the midfield. Cabello, tricky. Reyes resets with the goalkeeper, gets it back, and this will be Concord style. Scott Wagner said, you know, at times he really doesn't have to do that much coaching. This team, they play fun, they play aggressive, it's a very attacking style, it's fluid, and they're more than happy to play out of the back. As we've seen, it leads to this attack where Guzman can only chase the ball out of play. Concord looking strong with possession, but Coastal seeding very few chances defensively in this new setup. Seems to be working well for them so far through the first 13 minutes. Nil-nil, 3A NCISAA state championship game from Coastal Christian. Lira flicks it around the corner. Ends up in the path of Snurkowski who gets it out for a throw. Cabello lays it off to Hankinson. And now Davis is sprung. It's 2v3 for Coastal Christian, but they fancy their chances. Davis forward to Desmond. A little bit behind him. Not sure Desmond was ready for that pass. And Medina Ortiz has to do his best just to clean up that situation as the Eagles scramble back. Concord really only leaves one man forward, and that is Guzman. 21, Jeremy Martinez is probably the furthest forward in your picture. Guzman well ahead of him, but everybody else more or less behind the ball. They play with pretty much four center mids do Concord. It's a very unique setup, but again, very fluid, and it has cashed out into a lot of goals of the season for Scott Wagner's team, so hard to throw any criticism at that. 127 goals. I think we'd take that return every time. So it's Cuicui Gonzalez with the turn, able to keep possession. Back into him. Hankinson keeps it ticking. Stallings into Lira. Lira with a chance to cut inside. Even when he's just passing it backwards, Lira moving with an immense amount of grace. As Guzman turns the corner, a big sliding challenge comes in and it ricochets back off Guzman for a goal kick. A moment of danger as Guzman nearly spun in behind, but the cleanup man was William Borges. And that's the benefit once again of those three center backs. Guzman was able to beat the other two, but Borges coming in at the back post, across to the near post was able to save it. So a goal kick for Coastal Christian, skidded low, off of the grass, but it finds the feet of Desmond, who's calm on the ball here. Tangle of legs, but the ball was cleanly won by Cabello. And now the wind playing havoc with Kurzheimer. Snurkowski, pardon me. Out for a throw, Lira harassed by Davis. The lanky number 11 helping back defensively. Arturo Marine, defended by Lira. Ball pops out on the sideline, thrown for Concord. Lira forward to Guzman, hold up, is strong, no handball. 
appeared to strike the arm of Lyra, but Coastal is able to keep possession here. Coastal Christian sprung on the attack, but a good recovery from Hankinson, whose quick feet keep the ball as Lyra takes over, looking for Guzman again. That connection is well established early on through the first 17 minutes of this one, and I'm sure we'll see a lot more of it as this game continues. Lyra and Guzman. Guzman holding up once again for Lira. Lira out on the left flank. Lira across the goal and dragged just wide. You don't want to let him on his left foot. He's able to skip past one defender, but the angle was always against him. And the chance goes begging, but Concord with the better opportunities early after that flurry of pressure in the opening minute from Coastal Christian. Concord have certainly had control of the game. Hankinson needing to remove the undershirt here. I can't blame him. I'm in long sleeves myself, and I'm getting a little toasty, even with the wind up here on the scaffolding behind the student section. It's a lovely, lovely afternoon. 65 degrees and sunny, partly cloudy, but no clouds in the way at the moment. Just a lovely day for soccer. And I'm really pleased that you've joined us here for this 3A state title game. Still 0-0 through 23 minutes, or 17 minutes rather, of play. 23 left in the first half. It's Marine who manages to duck under the goal kick. Medina Ortiz pops a header up towards Reyes. Reyes, long ball caught up in the wind. And Lyra, a roulette through the middle. Plays the game with joy. But it is Coastal Christian who are looking to snuff that out today. Marine forward looking for Desmond. Desmond wants to save the goal kick and he's unable to do so, but good work rate going forward from Owen Desmond, the captain. The Centurions coach told me that Desmond, number three, the captain, he, he hunts for space. That is his style as a player. He typically sits a little deeper. He's more a part of the midfield, an attacking midfielder by nature. But today, he is playing through the middle as the top of the front three in Coastal's new 3-4-3 formation. And it is the sixth formation that they've tried this season. New one in the state title game, and, and I think that shows you just the, the style of coach that Scheffel is, always willing to switch it up, try to get the advantage any way that he can. Guzman is lurking at the back post. It's a transition opportunity. Carachure plays it inside. Gonzalez unable to control it. Far side, Dominguez. One back by Concord. Unable to keep possession, though. Lira applies the pressure. Snurkowski playing out of it. Carter Grace out wide. Tackle comes in and Concord have it back now. But Marine, man on the spot. Dominguez once again, cutting inside. Sammy Dominguez. Searching through ball, but not on the same wavelength as Josiah Davis. Halfway through the first half, nil-nil. State title game, we're already hitting the under for those of you who may have betted on this game, considering that Concord score almost five and a half goals per game this season, and they allow more than two. Coastal Christian's number is not quite as exciting. 60 goals scored and 47 conceded for an average of 2.6 scored and two conceded per game. But with that being said, can't expect it to stay 0-0 forever in this one. Throwing coming from Lecce. Marine gets it under control. Looking for Dominguez. Sumners has to chase it down. And it does get to Dominguez. Looking for the run of Davis. It's cut out. 
And now sprayed wide for Luke Lecce. Luke Lecce on the right foot, low cross, cut out well by Stallings. Now it's Guzman once more. Guzman wants to go 1v1 with Snurkowski. Once again, he does have that cover behind him. That time it was Wertheimer who rotated over. And again, this, this three-back system has dealt well with Guzman so far, but you have to wonder with that many resources dedicated to Concord's number 14, if some gaps may start to appear, such as we saw on Lira's opportunity. A bit of shade falls over the pitch here. Far side, flag was up. Guzman still trying to dribble, and he was able to do so, so they'll give him the throw in a little bit further up the field than the free kick would have been. Guzman once again. Lira. Lira turning. Stalling. Well defended by Lecce. And now it's Stallings out wide. The center back coming forward for Concord. Into Gonzalez. Quickly Gonzalez. Unable to escape Snurkowski who's been immense so far. Lira. Medina Lira. Medina Ortiz out wide for Kevin Reyes. Cabello to Reyes once more. Guzman. Guzman inside. And yet again, there's cover. Coastal Christian have made it clear that if you're going to beat us, it's not going to be off the dribble. Concord, a lot of 1v1 players. That's the benefit of a team with a lot of talent. However, it can also be the downside. It will be a corner though for Concord. Sent high in the sky towards the back stick. The header won by Concord. It was Cabello who rose the highest, but his shot did not trouble Webster's goal. Another ball hoofed forward for Borges to deal with. He ends up having to use his head, does so successfully, out for a throw. Reyes will come up to take the throw in for Concord. Eagles in white coming forward. Throwing comes into the box. Nice control there. But the pass was misguided from Lira, who's trying to track back here. Through ball comes to the middle, cleaned up by Medina Ortiz. A unique note about Concord Academy is that there's only 14 players on the active roster. That does include a backup goalkeeper. So realistically, you're going to see this starting 11 out there for most of the game. There are a couple subs that they do have available, but this is a short-handed team, a very small school, and the fact that they've made it this far does say a lot, and it does contribute to that fluid setup that Scott Wagner likes to work with. He, in many ways, doesn't have a lot of options. He has to play players in certain positions. He has to allow them to change and flow with the game to go forward, come back as you've seen Lira do, come outside, come inside. This is the setup of Concord Academy compared to the very rigid structure of Coastal Christian. Speaking of rigid, strong challenge from Do Josiah Davis. The first one was clean. The second one was not foul to Concord. Lira's going to be the one to take it here. Curls it in, looking for Guzman. He was well handled by the Coastal Christian back line. 
Falls for Kevin Reyes. Twenty sixth minute here in the first half. Fourteen to go until halftime. Nil nil between Concord Academy Eagles in white and Coastal Christian Centurions in red. Here's Valentino Lira for Concord. Lira still sliding challenge in from Marine, blocking the path. Coastal have done a great job swarming to the ball, but Concord Academy has really kept everything in their half so far. Little triangles now coming. Gonzalez. Quique Gonzalez gets out of this space. And now Medina Ortiz coming forward on the left foot. Well over the bar. It's very interesting. We've seen Medina Ortiz as the sort of center point of the back three for Concord Academy. When I talked to Mike Scheffel, he was actually nervous about Medina Ortiz's attacking contributions coming into this game. He said he was a little bit of a wild card. He does like to come forward. He does like to make those runs that you just saw, let off shots. He's a danger from set pieces with his big body. So he was a little bit concerned about that, and I think you saw a flash there of what Medina Ortiz can do. And they have the freedom to come forward, especially when Concord keeps as much possession as they have in Coastal's half. Andrew Kramer, the junior, taking the throw in now. He's been subbed on into this right wing back position. They also got Zeke Martin at center back, replacing Wertheimer as that third man along the back line. So some, some mid-half substitutions. Again, haven't seen any from Concord just yet. Not expecting to see a whole lot of them. Gonzalez spreads it wide. Guzman has some space. Cut back and cleared away. It was Carter Grace who was watchful. But nice build up once again from Concord. They're getting stuck into this first half. Setting up camp in Coastal's territory. It was an emotional semi-final win for Coastal Christian, a one nil result over Cape Fear Academy as Lira dances into the middle. We'll come back to that. He spreads it wide. Got Arturi on the far side. And again, good defending from Coastal. It's Lira once more. Chance to reset for Concord. Sprayed forward by Reyes. Martin got there first, headed it forward to Davis. Davis has some work here to do in order to hold the ball up. Sends it out wide looking for Owen Desmond who can't quite track it down. And C C Coastal Christian really struggling to keep possession at the moment. Keep in mind as well that Coastal have the wind at their backs, what, whatever wind there is right now. And so when these teams do flip in the second half, it's only gonna make it that much harder to get the ball away. So getting penned in despite the wind by Concord so far, but a gritty game, nil-nil still. No super clear chances. In fact, the best may have fallen to Sammy Dominguez of Coastal Christian quite a few minutes ago now and forced a nice save out of Sotela in the Concord goal. Since then though, all Eagles as the foul won in the middle, Quique Gonzalez went down. Lira once again gonna be the one to take it, using his right foot this time, whichever he chooses really. He's a very two-footed player. We've seen him excel with the left out here on the left flank, taking a few free kicks with the right. Dealer's choice. The long punt and a rather aimless header by Kyle Desmond, that is Owen's brother. The two playing in tandem up top now. Looks like Kyle may be playing more through the middle with o Owen slightly out to the left. 
And Zeke Martin sees it out of play. Some dangerous passing now from Coastal Christian, but they're confident. A bobbled touch, though, by 21, Andrew Kramer. And now Concord trying to win it back. Dangerous position, Guzman lurking, and he was on the back of Snurkowski. Not a whole lot of contact, but you can see him just trying to wiggle his way into position. A little too much arm, and Coastal wins the free kick. Nine minutes to go in the first half, still 0-0 in this 3A NCISAA state final soccer game. It's a long attempt, Davis nearly on the end of it, just out of his reach in the end, and that just shows you the effect that the wind is having right now. Free kick sent all the way through, nobody touched it, went out for a goal kick. So Taylor over the goal kick in his dark green Tottenham Hotspur kit. Reyes pokes it forward. Looks like maybe a handball from Jeremy Martinez. There's been a few of those that have gone uncalled, so not sure about the consistency, but I do think that struck the arm of Martinez. Concord fans not the happiest. Desmond over the free kick here. Owen Desmond clips it forward. Floating ball off the back. Medina Ortiz has to clear it. Coastal nearly created something out of nothing. Hankinson skips past Desmond. Hankinson forward to Lira. Lira inside. Still working on it. He's got three men coming toward him. Now the third backs off. Just a double team for Valentino Lira. And he still wins his team a throw in. The danger is ever present from the number 10 for Concord. And as they have all of this first half, Concord making sure that it doesn't, ha doesn't hurt them. Josiah Davis now trying to break forward. He's tackled down by Hankinson. Trick from Cabello. And it's Davis once more. Josiah Davis stumbles forward, wins the ball. It's a three on two. Now it's a three on three. Davis, edge of the area, left footed pass through for Desmond. Just a bit too strong. Not sure Desmond was ready for that run, but a nice bit of play from Josiah Davis showing his quality coming forward. Certainly a danger on the counterattack. That has been his main outlet and Coastal Christians here in the first half. Now a flicked header through. Kyle Desmond could be on it. The substitute striker just a little bit short. Branson Sotella with some alert goalkeeping. A few sniffs of goal for Coastal Christian here as we come towards the last six minutes of the first half. Still searching for the opener. Marine switching the play through Grace. Now Desmond, now Davis flicked forward to Owen Desmond. Seen out by Sotela, but a nice bit of play from Coastal Christian. They're starting to knock the ball around. Starting to be able to hold a little bit of that possession in Concord's half. And it's these final five minutes of the half. Keep an eye on that. As I've mentioned, Concord, not a very deep team. Haven't used any subs yet this half. Coastal Christian have used a few players from the bench, and those are some of the ones giving them that extra energy here. Grace with a body faint, with another. And he's out of a dangerous situation to Snurkowski, Andrew Snurkowski. Davis on the turn, straight past Stallings. Still Davis, still Davis, but a great tackle from Richie Medina Ortiz. He has been a brick wall at the back for Concord. And after his partner Stallings got breezed past, like he wasn't even there. 
Medina Ortiz making it happen. Now Lira the flick through nearly finds Guzman. Back and forth through the final five minutes here in the first half. Gonzalez flicks it forward. Guzman on the right wing. Tackled away. That was Borges with the intervention. Medina Ortiz back to Sotela. Bouncing ball, he has to control it. Back to Medina Ortiz. Calmly done by the Eagles. But the clearance can only go to half field. Again, the ball getting caught up in the wind a little bit. Wind at the backs of the Centurions here. Josiah Davis twist.
want to send our apologies for the technical difficulties towards the end of the first half. You didn't miss anything. It's still 0-0. And we are hoping for all the best in the second half. Issues should be fixed. Once again, I'm Parker Johnson. I'll be taking you through the second half and whatever melee after. We're in the 3A state championship for the North Carolina Independent Schools Athletic Association. Teams will flip sides here for the second half. Coastal Christian in red. Concord Academy in white. It's been a festive day at Coastal Christian. Volleyball taking home a state championship earlier this afternoon. I'm sure a few of you may have been tuned into that broadcast as well. And today, soccer trying to make it two and two. And they're also trying to make it two state titles in the past three seasons for this soccer program. So it could turn out to be quite the day at Coastal Christian. Handful of opportunities for both sides in the first half. Concord, for the most part, controlled the possession. Coastal certainly looked dangerous on the counterattack, and the game had its fair share of ebbs and flows, but we're still scoreless as we begin this second half with Concord coming left to right with the ball as Alex Guzman. He gives it away to Josiah Davis. Davis sprinting forward. Just loses control as Cabello intervenes. Here's Guzman again, cutting inside to his right foot. Finds Lira, who's find, finding a little pocket through the middle here. Lira, a couple of shoulder dips through to Hankinson, back to Lira. Lira has support beyond him from Medina. Abel Medina, a little halftime substitution. Didn't see a whole lot of him in the first half. Number eight in the red boots. Looks like he's come on for Carachure. Play that right wing position. So here comes Coastal Christian on the counter. Marine looking to slot it through to Davis who had some space up the right flank. Strong defending by Stallings. As Medina takes over here, coming forward, Abel Medina. No, it's Gonzalez actually, the number nine, not the number eight. He wins a throw in deep in enemy territory. Quickly Gonzalez, the tricky number nine. Sophomore, but a very key part of this team. Here's Lira with a sprint, is able to get beyond Marine. Arturo Marine for Coastal Christian. Lear has done his fair share of both attacking and defending today. The number 10 for Concord. He's the star player. He's the guy to keep an eye on. He's distributed. He's had some opportunities. He's played on the left. He's played through the middle. He looks like he's more in the center of the field right now for this second half with Quique Gonzalez, the man tugging back. Number 25, Wertheimer. Gonzalez, the man who's, who's taken up Lira's spot on the left. So, as I said in the first half, very fluid approach from Concord. A little bit of positional switching at halftime rather than a whole bunch of subs. For Owen Desmond, Desmond drifting on the ball. A little bit of contact. He goes down. No foul, says the referee. Here's Guzman, pirouette to the inside. He's inside the box. As the student section trying to inject a bit of life into this Coastal Christian Centurions team and some of it may be rubbing off on Lecce who got a burst of pace. But once again, Medina Ortiz continues his fine defensive display, the number 18 in white. Throw in was taken too quickly. They wanted to get a sub on. Mike Scheffel signaling from the sideline. So the man to come off is Lecce, who just made that little run forward. Yeah, 
And entering the game, sophomore number 28, Zane Finley. Looks like he'll be moving into one of the forward three. Again, Coastal Christian going with a rather unfamiliar 3-4-3 three, three formation today. Three backs, four mids, and three forwards. Their main creator, Owen Desmond, is playing along that front line with Grace and Marine, the more defensive midfielders, as a nice move. It was Jeremy Martinez finding some space and winning a foul. Hopefully we're back up and live, and if we are, again, we apologize for the technical difficulties. We are doing our best to keep the stream live, and we want to be here as much as you do. But thanks for sticking with us. We are 10 minutes into the second half. It is still 0-0. You didn't miss a lot. There was one close chance for Concord Academy inside the box, and a nice save that was pulled off by Webster. But it kind of came from nothing, so game flow-wise, I haven't missed a whole lot. Still a bit of a stalemate, although Coastal Christian have showed a bit more life towards the start of this half than they did towards the start of the first half. It's always going to be a battle in these types of games. Saw that with Coastal Christian's results so far in the playoffs. They had a 2-1 win. They had a 1-0 win over Cape Fear Academy in the semifinal, a local rival a very, very talented team and one that beat them twice in the regular season. But Josiah Davis scored the winner for Coastal and kind of got them over the hump, getting them past Cape Fear, which is a regional rivalry that means so much to both. Now, a chipped pass. It's beautiful to the back from Gonzalez. It goes out wide to Guzman, cutting inside, and the effort is fumbled and headed home by Concord Academy. Cartwheeling off into the corner. Didn't stick the landing, but he stuck the finish. 1-0 Concord. Goal for the Eagles. And it's number nine, Quique Gonzalez, who breaks the deadlock off of a goalkeeping mistake from the freshman Brant Webster. He'd Made some good saves up until that point. It was Guzman who fired off the effort from the corner of the 18-yard box. And it went through the hands of Webster, fell straight to Gonzalez at the back post, and he made no mistake. So 1-0 to Concord, 28 minutes left in the game. But here is Coastal Christian right back with Josiah Davis. A low driven effort is collected calmly by Sotela. Medina Ortiz lofts it into the wind. It's over the head of Snurkowski, but Webster there to claim it, not short in confidence. Rolls it out for Sumners. He's got some work to do here. Pressure by a couple of Eagles. And now how will this game change? How might Coastal change their approach, seeking a goal in the second half to tie things up here in the state final? They've been here before, no stranger to the big occasion. Four finals in the past six seasons. They won a state championship 2019. But here's a dance from Lira. Tino Lira passed another. Grace is still with him. Now he's not. Long range effort. Lira wanted it all. He saw the glory. But a nice block, and you have to give credit to Grace for staying with that one. Now a flick forward. Guzman trying to work his way through, but two Coastal players are there, and the Centurions build a wall. A bit of life injected into this game since the goal. Here's Davis on the sprint. Davis up against Stallings. Davis onto his left foot. Josiah Davis. It's a tame effort. Blocked away. Not sure it would have troubled the goalkeeper. But he's Le here's Lira in a stretched game. He tries the reverse pass. Did not quite get his hips around it. That is a very difficult angle to spray it out. But the option was there from the goal scorer, Gonzalez. 
breathless couple of minutes here since the goal. Long ball from Concord on the free kick. Does bounce past everyone. If you did miss some of the analysis in the first half and the second, the wind is with Concord in this half. Coastal had it in the first half, and now certainly those, those long free kicks, those goal kicks, punts, all those type of long balls in the air get that little extra distance for Concord. And they're all that much harder to clear for Coastal here in the second half. Now Sumner's with some fancy footwork. And then a bit of a let off. Towering header up third row from the top of the student section. Students right on top of Reyes as he takes the throw in, the, coast, the Concord captain. Sumners can't keep it in play. Reyes with another long throw in. He's looking for Lira. Cabello. Off to Gonzalez. It's taken away. There's some space to run here. As Grace tried to bring it forward. Just not enough numbers coming up there. Lira tries to squeeze it into Guzman. He had a few players covering him. And Guzman turns again. And he was held back by Snurkowski. So free kick in a very dangerous area here. Richie Medina Ortiz is the man over it, the big center back, number 18. Wall set up towards the edge of the area, five men deep. Medina Ortiz for the free kick, just over the crossbar. He fancied his chances against Webster, not the tallest in that Coastal Christian goal. These two teams have only met once before. It was also in the playoffs. It was a good 10 years ago or so, I was told by Mike Scheffel, the soccer coach at Coastal and athletic director. It was at a time where Concord Academy was Concord first assembly, and they knocked Coastal out of the playoffs. So they're trying to make it two for two here 10 years later with the 1-0 lead and 22 minutes left to hold on for a state championship. Coastal certainly not out of it yet. It's won by number 35. He was not on my roster, so I'm not sure of his name, but we continue nonetheless. Marine sprays it forward. Ball got lost a little bit, but then taken down by the left winger there. He's fighting for it in the corner. Two Concord defenders in the area. And eventually they let it run through to Branson Sotea. Lira with the giveaway. Collector's item that. Sumners tries to lay it off for Marine. He's now out of the play. It's up to Grace, Grace to try to stop this attack. Lira getting the best of him. Lira back onto his right foot. Valentino Lira! Oh, it wasn't far. He was able to get the shot off. The second time he's diced up Grace in that midfield area in transition. Last time Grace blocked it, this time just over the bar with a trying effort. Lira has looked a lot more dangerous. He's been playing centrally in the second half after 
playing off the left side in the first half. At times, he was nearly in the left back position. He just floats all around the field. He causes so many problems. He can go both ways. And we've seen the skills from him today. A roulette through the midfield, a little step over and a nutmeg on the sideline, I believe was one of his first touches of the game. Uh, tricky, tricky player and a pleasure to watch the Concord number 10. Here's a foul going against Coastal. Lira to take it, he stands it up to the back post and it flies past the closest man who was Karachure. Sending it into the wind from that free kick, gave it a little extra carry. As we are nearing the halfway point of the second half, Concord Academy Eagles lead 1-0 here on the road at Coastal Christian. Now Coastal, no strangers to a comeback earlier today. The volleyball team was down two sets to nothing, and they came back all the way to win three sets to two. So it could be something in the water today, folks. You, you just never know. And this is even closer than that matchup was, just down one goal. Far from out of it, the Centurions. Crowd getting into it now as well. Plenty of red speckling the stands. We had a tailgate outside earlier. The vibes have been immaculate, if I say so myself. Long ball here, could trouble Webster. Whoa now, whoa now. He makes his way back to the goal line. You could just see it hanging up in the air. It might give him a little bit of issues as he thanks his good heavens and moves on, but a dangerous moment. Here's Hankinson turning through the middle, number 12. Back out wide. Lira making inroads. Lira draws two defenders to him like a magnet. Able to escape. Cabello brings it down. Cabello. Wide right looking for Reyes who was coming forward. Sumner plays it up the line. It stays in play. And still there on a curling clearance from Medina Ortiz. Guzman unable to beat the wind and track it down. Can't say enough about the performance of Richie Medina Ortiz today. Big setter back for the Eagles. Been faultless in defense so far. Had a couple of attacking opportunities as well. Free kick that just went over. He's held things together back there as their sweeper today. A low goal kick is straight into the path of Lira. That's not where you want to put it. Lira dancing. Lira draws in one defender, tries to go past him. Grace once again stays well with him. There's been a lot of battles between those two today. But Carter Grace has really held his own. Not a lot of players are going to keep up with Valentino Lira, the All-State midfielder. And he's done it more times than he hasn't. Ball stays in play on the far side. It was a dangerous option to come back in with Guzman lurking. But Coastal are able to get out. Kyle Desmond in up top, number two. And now it's Dominguez. Sammy Dominguez up the right wing. He had the best chance of the game for the Centurions in the first half. He forced a very good one-on-one -on -one save from Branson Sotela. And now back in for a second half cameo, the number 13. He passes it back here to Grace, who swings in across. Desmond can't control it at the edge of the area. He was looking to get his shot off. He's their leading assist man, Owen Desmond. He's got a handful of goals of his own, nine to be specific. 13 assists as well for the captain. Pretty good numbers, I'd have to say. contributed to 22 of the 60 Coastal Christian goals this season. 
and 18 of those goals have been scored by Josiah Davis, who finds himself on the left wing at the moment. He will be the one to pressure here as the ball comes to Kevin Reyes. Good pressure from Davis. Davis could be through here. It's cut out by Medina Ortiz. Ref says shoulder. So we play on. Marine with a chance. He could play Davis in here. Davis has a little space. Needs to work it onto his right foot. And the cover comes as Garchure had to do some defending work there. He's more of a winger, but he got back and did his job. Clearance completed by Reyes. NCISAA 3A State Championship Soccer Game. Live from Wilmington, I'm Parker Johnson bringing it to you here on YouTube. We appreciate you joining us throughout the afternoon for everybody who was here for the volleyball game as well. It's been a blast as we tick toward the final 15 minutes with Coastal Christian chasing Concord Academy. Here's Lyra on the spin. Lyra in behind for Guzman who is offside. I believe that is our first offside flag of the game. The assistant referees have not been very busy this afternoon. But Guzman playing on the shoulder just went a little bit early, got in behind the defense, and that's where you're going to see an offside call. Marine heads it forward. Grace sprays it out wide. Kramer trying to force it up the line. Does give it away. 15 minutes, and Coastal are going to need to find something offensively. Concord have been very solid at the back, but here's Dominguez. Could he turn the key? Owen oh, Desmond. Owen oh, Desmond, edge of the area. Desmond tries to open his hips and curl it. Good defending. As Guzman holds up the play here, Lira. Lira wants a run. He wants a race and a great tackle. One again. Znurkowski. Great defending on the Star man for the Eagles. Snarkowski's had himself a very good game today. Lyra has some space in the box here. An important sliding challenge from Sumner. Deflects it off. Those legs are starting to set in. It looks like he's signaling to the bench here. Uh, I don't know that they're going to be willing to take him off. <laughs> looks to the heavens a little bit as the goal kick comes short. A bold pass, but a very accurate one from Webster. Coastal Christian taking their time, bringing it forward. Snurkowski sends it long. Flick from Kyle Desmond. As the wind whips around here in Wilmington. Guzman to chase. Up against Snurkowski. Got wrong side of him, but lost his balance. And now Guzman taking a moment on the floor. These forward men from Concord have really put in a shift. And with just a 14-man roster, nobody particularly limber on the bench at the moment. Subs are not forthcoming for the Eagles. So they're going to have to battle this one out for another 12 minutes and 45 seconds. They've done it all season, and now it's actually... Martinez who goes down. Jeremy Martinez in the seated position there near center field. The uh, trainers are going to come on here. Martinez maybe dealing with some cramps. Despite the late October place in the calendar, it, it is pretty hot out here today. So with limited substitutions and the amount of running these kids have put in, certainly understandable. Clock is stopped. At 12.42 remaining in the second half, it's 1-0. The number seven seed, Concord Academy, are ahead thanks to a goal from Cuicui Gonzalez in the 51st minute, assisted by a shot from Alex Guzman, and it was a bit of a goalkeeping error from Brent Webster in the Coastal goal. 12 minutes and change for Coastal to turn things around here. If they were to find an equalizer, never too early to mention it would be an overtime period before penalties. In fact, two overtime periods. Normal, not golden goal. If it stayed tied, then it would go to golden goal. Then it would go to penalties. That is only if we make it that far. But Concord have a lead to defend here. And 
Coastal will take solace in the fact that Concord's back line has been leaky at times this season. You wouldn't know it from their performance today, but they have conceded over 50 goals this season. Not the most spotless record. Mike Scheffel has his team in a huddle here. I do wonder, maybe a formation change. Maybe is the 3-4-3 giving them enough in an attacking sense? It certainly worked well defensively. You can't say that the back line was really to blame for the goal, and they've done a great job corralling Guzman especially, and also Lira. But you just wonder if they could throw a few more numbers forward, if perhaps a couple more midfielders would be able to give them some sustained possession in the attacking half. Just a thought. I'm certainly not the coach. But hey, I can offer my analysis. So the injury has been sorted out here. And it looks like the substitute who came on to replace Jeremy Martinez, the man who went down, is going to be Abel Medina. Medina is just a freshman. He also serves as the backup goalkeeper. He replaced his fellow freshman, Martinez. So this is a very young team as the goal kick here gets caught up in the wind, leaving Coastal with some work to do to get it out of the back. Davis trying to turn and burn. The pass doesn't find him. Over from Lira. And Lira could latch on here. Lira could go left, could go right. Goes to his left. Lira! Valentino Lira. Surely that seals it for Concord. It's only fitting that the number 10, a goal of his quality, shaking to the right, shaking to the left. And he finishes at the near post of Webster, who had absolutely no chance with that one. 2 0 Concord, Eagles flying toward a state championship. What do Coastal Christian have left in the tank? Eagles getting all their numbers back, besides Guzman. Can't keep possession. Clock keeps on ticking. Well, what a way to cap off a phenomenal season for Lyra. Scoring the goal in the 68th minute of play. Showing all his skills, all his qualities. And simply too much for that coastal back line. And where is he now? In the midfield defending. It's what he does. He's everywhere. Beautiful Cruyff turn from Desmond. Owen oh, Desmond trying to give Coastal a little bit of life here. He is usually the spark for this attack. They're gonna need something from someone. Desmond certainly a candidate. This man as well, Sammy Dominguez on the ball. A strong tackle from Cabello sends him to the turf. Far side, Kyle Desmond in with a 50-50 challenge. It falls for the long ball, which is gonna be way too far for Guzman. Doesn't have a lot left in his legs up top, but he is a willing runner, so I'm sure he will be the outlet here for the final 10 minutes and 30 seconds. Coastal need two goals to send this one to overtime. Penalty goes, or rather the throw in goes in favor of the Centurions here. Trying to make some inroads up the right side. Here's Grace dribbling through the midfield. Gets the attack going to Sumner. Now it's Davis, he's the danger man. Davis on the turn, worth a shot. 
But Coastal are just going to have to get a little bit closer to carve out the type of opportunities that they need to get back in this game. Got to keep the pressure on. And it's all that much harder with the wind blowing straight in their face. The wind is fully behind the wings of the Eagles here as we see out the final 10 minutes. Coastal did not take advantage of having the wind at their back in the first half. It was nil-nil at halftime if you did join us late. Both of Concord's goals have come in the second half. Medina Ortiz, the man who sends it long this time. Guzman. Down for Gonzalez, the first goal scorer. He sends it out wide. Hankinson now sprinting forward. And look who's there to defend it. It's Kramer. And it is out for a corner here for Concord. Chance to tick a few more seconds off the clock. You wonder if they might just go short and keep it in the corner here. Gonzalez is the man who they could do that with. It's Gonzalez and Hankinson. And straight away it's sent out for a throw in I believe yes it is and again one would imagine Concord will keep this one in the corner bit of gamesmanship now as they try to see out this 2-0 lead defense, 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 defense. 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 long ball trying to break the pressure is intercepted through the middle Bounces out to Borges, who sends it forward. Now Davis has a run at the back line. Davis trying to track it down. Ray has got enough on it to clear the danger for the moment. Now it's Gonzalez. Gonzalez running at his man. Barrels him over and keeps it going to Lira. Lira on it once again. Lira, Lira, Valentino Lira. A soft effort and a tug at the back of his leg. He's put it all out there on the field tonight, the number 10. Couldn't quite pull off a second golazo. Another goal kick for Coastal. Davis looks spent on, or rather that's Marine on the far sideline. He is going to get subbed out here as Coastal seeks a few midfield replacements. Looks like they may have switched to a back four. I could be wrong, but I believe uh, you saw the right wing back shift back to a right back position. Desmond looks like he's tucked into the midfield. Owen Desmond, that is, who's a man pressuring here on Lyra. And three forwards out there, I believe, is the setup right now for Coastal. Keeping four at the back will actually allow them to send more forward than they did with three. You just have to trust me on that. I know it doesn't make a lot of sense. But six and a half minutes left. Coastal needing two goals. A dance inside. Owen oh, Desmond with the nutmeg keeps it rolling. And he does win a throw in. Going to take it quickly here and get it back in play. Coastal need one quickly to apply pressure and make it a hectic final few minutes. Branson Sotela claims it. He's been spotless in goal today. Did have to come up with at least one big save in the first half. He's had a couple simpler ones to make in the second frame. He sends it all the way to the hands of his opposite number, and that is Webster. Coach Mike Scheffel told me that while this is not his most talented group, he does feel like that says a lot about the culture of this Coastal Christian team. The fact that they could still make it back year after year, late into the playoffs, into the finals. This is their sixth in four years as Lira's through ball is turned away. And he said that he feels that really just shows the character and the culture of the soccer program here. Beating Cape Fear the way that they did in the playoffs, overcoming that hump that made them stumble throughout the season. And here come Coastal once again. Lecce. Here's Lyra having fun with it. It's in the direction of Guzman, who falls over some accidental contact there, so no foul. And 
car. Chure can't keep it. But a clearance from Reyes to the opposite 18 yard box is all that the Eagles need here. Up two goals, under five to play. Quico Gonzalez. Forward to Guzman, Alex Guzman on the turn. Guzman has put in a shift and a half this afternoon. He's run himself ragged and he's run that coastal back line ragged as well. At times needing all three center backs just to get a handle on him, which has given the likes of Gonzalez, the likes of Lira, more space to operate. Reyes wins it back. Poked forward up the sideline. Karachure with the nutmeg hangs on. 27 on 27 here. Karachure getting the best of his opposite number. And he goes down. Lira on the floor. Karachure on the floor. They look absolutely spent right now, Concord. Lira's back to his feet. Karachure is still down here on the near touch line. Ref hasn't actually seen it. He's, it looks like he said cramped to the sideline. As Webster with a moment of shakiness as the wind nearly negated the curve that was on the ball. I had a good angle of that one. That was funky, so good job by Webster just to stay in front of it. That was not an easy ball to catch. He rolls it out, and Coastal will go again. They've got three minutes to score two goals. It's unlikely, but never say never. Snarkowski to take the free kick. He's going to try to get it as far as he can, biting into the wind, and it is going to hold up here and probably fall at the top of the penalty area where it's flicked forward by Kramer and off of a coastal body and the head slump as they return to half field. I think they know the outcome of this one is just about written. A couple more subs. Marine is going to get a few more minutes. The junior who went down injured a few minutes ago and now it's Snurkowski who's on the floor holding his right leg. Concord are playing on here. Guzman trying to exploit the space. Alex Guzman and Borges blocks it away. Snurkowski is still down. Now the ref is going to stop the clock and get some attention for the senior center back, Andrew Snurkowski, not certainly how he's going to want his last game to end here, but tell you what, he has played a very good game at center back today, the number six. He and Borges, absolute rocks along the back line all season, and with a backup goalkeeper having to play a lot of the season, a freshman behind them. They've shifted into a three-back system today, and really can't say that They've been much to blame for either of the two goals. I think they've played very well alongside Wertheimer, who came in and, and played a lot of minutes at that right center back position. Those two have been immense all season, and it's a real credit to the strength of the back line. Krasnowski is just outside the huddle here. He's back to his feet, which is a great sign, hoping for all the best there. There's 2.05 left on the clock. And the crowd with an ovation for the departed Snurkowski. Two minutes until the Eagles can lift a trophy here. Thanks to goals from Kwikwi Gonzalez in the 51st minute. Valentino Lira in the 68th. Couple chances left for Coastal to try to push it forward. This goal kick ends up with Gonzalez. Now it's Lira. Out of play. And 
Concord on the verge of their first state championship. What a team this has been. Factor in the two goals today, up to 129 goals in just 24 games, north of five goals per game. They're an offensive juggernaut, and I'll tell you something, you have not seen the end of this Concord team either. A very, very young team. In fact, only two seniors on the roster. That is only 14 people big. They may need some new recruits as well, and if they get a few more bodies to bring in off the bench, boy, it is gonna be a challenge for anybody who comes up against them the next couple years. They still got one more year of Valentino Lira as well. The junior who has certainly impressed today, a two-time All-State selection. And Guzman draws yet another foul. I'd love to know how many he's been responsible for today. Fans are starting to sense it on the Concord sideline. They're on their feet. The phones are out, the recordings are going. They are ready to bathe in this moment of history for the Eagles. On a day of lots of celebration for Coastal Christian with six seconds left. It does look as though Mike Scheffel's team is gonna fall just short. Eagles deserving champions. The fans have burst onto the field and an undermanned but undeniably talented team. Concord Academy comes home with a 3A NCISAA state championship. It has been an absolute pleasure to be here all day with you. I want to give a big shout out to Matt Wolf, man in the camera, making sure this live stream has gotten back up and running multiple times despite some technical difficulties. I want to give a big thank you to Coastal Christian and to everybody who's watched along today. It's been a day of celebration a state championship for volleyball, a runner-up trophy will go to the soccer team who finished the season 13-10-1 as Concord Academy wins the 3A state title. That's going to be all from me. I'm going to sign off for now, but thanks for tuning in. We'll see you next time.
by Ortho Carolina. And we want to congratulate both teams for an outstanding season and a well-played game. Our runner-up team this year was from Coastal Christian High School, who finished their season today with a record of 13, 10, and 1. Number 25, Andrew. 